Have you ever heard of possession and sihr that exist outside the body? It's crucial for every Muslim to be aware of them and understand their impact. In this video, we explore what they are, what causes them, and how to protect yourself. Our purpose is not to scare you, we are here to share this information so you're aware of what exists and, more importantly, how to safeguard yourself. Let's get started. Bismillah. Number 1. Understanding a tabia. What is a tabia or a taba? A tabia or a taba is nothing but another form of sorcery and attacks from the shayateen. Except that this type is exclusively found in women and does not occur in men. A tabi'a is a female jinn that bothers women by satanically hindering them from having children or causing miscarriages, and it may even disturb newborns. The influence of a tabi'a is only by the will of Allah and is limited to these areas. They do not interfere with other aspects of life, as some sorcerers falsely claim. Ibn Mandur, a respected scholar, defines a tabi'a as a female jinn that follows humans. Traditions tell of the first news brought to Medina about the Prophet's migration, which came from a woman with a tabi'a follower among the jinn. In this context, the tabi'a was a jinn that followed the woman out of love. A tabi'a can also follow and love a man. This statement reveals that when someone has a tabi'a, it refers to the existence of a jinn following them due to affection. Number 2. The Torments of a Tabi'a What are the methods through which a Tabi'a can afflict women? A Tabi'a can harass women through the following means solely by the will of Allah. Prevention of Pregnancy A Tabi'a can influence the process of pregnancy but in a unique and complex manner that only Allah understands. The woman may face difficulty in conceiving, and a tabi'a's influence is not physical. She operates externally through sorcery and incantations. It is disheartening to note that many people turn to sorcerers hoping to be assisted by the same spells they carry around their necks, unaware that they are causing harm to themselves rather than finding a cure. This sad reality exposes the deep-seated deception in the quest for solutions. Miscarriages The influence of a tabia can manifest in causing miscarriages at any point during pregnancy. Physical and mental discomforts may occur in the first three months or even later. Nightmares may involve terrifying images, such as attacks by black dogs, bites on hands or legs, and harassment by strange creatures like men, lizards, or donkeys. These unusual experiences, often shrouded in mystery, contribute to the woman's unrest. During sleep, she may feel as if someone is hitting her abdomen hard, or she may experience unexplained bleeding without any medical cause. This illustrates the profound impact of a tabia on the physical and mental well-being of the woman. <coughs> Harassment of the newborn The most heartbreaking aspect of a tabia's influence becomes evident with the newborn. The child suddenly falls ill in a satanic manner, afflicted by diseases. Despite thorough medical examinations, no evidence or cause is found for the child's health issues. This highlights the subtle and elusive nature of a tabi'a's torments, disrupting the physical and emotional well-being of the new soul. In these dark scenes, it becomes clear how a tabi'a leaves not only physical but also emotional scars, plunging mothers and their newborns into a spiral of fear and sorrow. It serves as a reminder of the subtle yet devastating power possessed by this female jinn and emphasizes the need for protection against her dark influences. Number 3. The Ruqya Treatment of a Tabia How can we protect ourselves from the tormenting influence of a Tabia? In our quest for protection, Allah has not abandoned us. He has provided us with ample safeguards and weapons against every evil, including this dark entity. Right Practice of Faith The key to protection begins with a correct practice of faith. For sisters, it is essential to strengthen their tawheed, understand and profess the oneness of Allah. Timely performance of prayers and wearing the proper hijab 
covering the entire body, offer powerful protection against the dark forces of Atebia. Daily Supplications and Adhkar Daily protection is built on strengthening our connection with Allah through supplications and adhkar, from morning to evening and in routine activities like leaving the house or entering the toilet, these adhkar form a spiritual shield. They can be found in Hisn al-Muslim, Fortress of the Muslim, a collection of supplications guiding us in all aspects of daily life. Ruqya water as a healing source. The treatment for a tabia includes a daily routine of self-purification and the use of ruqya water. This special water contains dissolved Quranic verses written with permissible ink, such as saffron. The pregnant woman, who believes she is being harassed by this dark entity, is encouraged to pay special attention to her abdomen throughout her pregnancy. She should thoroughly wash and anoint her belly with this potent water, providing not only physical cleansing but also spiritual protection. By making these rituals and supplications into our daily lives, we create a shield of protection that guides us through the dark shadows of Atabia's influence. It is a commitment to Allah and the power of His words that ultimately leads us to healing and protection against any form of darkness. Number 4. For scholarly approval. Did scholars approve of these protective measures? Absolutely. The proposed protective measures suggested by scholars have been approved. The legitimacy of certain methods for protection against entities like Atabia is confirmed in the fatawa of prominent scholars. Sheikh Ibn Baz, may Allah have mercy on him, notably stated that writing verses from the Qur'an and authentic supplications with saffron on a clean board or paper, which are then dissolved in water for the sick person to drink, is entirely permissible. This is not an unconventional practice, but a method applied by many of the Salaf of this Ummah. This approval is further reinforced by the scholar Ibn Qayyim, may Allah have mercy on him, in his work Zad al-Ma'ad, and by other respected scholars. It is crucial that the person applying this method is known for sincerity and goodness. These fatawa can be found in Fatawa Islamia. Remember, our protection lies in our dedication to Allah and following His guidance. May Allah shield us from all forms of evil and darkness. Ameen. Stay informed, stay protected. And until next video on our channel, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.